KTXT, you're listening to Windfall Radio. How are you doing out there? Hope you're doing okay. Uh, what you just heard was Thrift Store Cowboys. Good stuff. I liked it. Maybe I'll play more. If, if you like that song, give me a call. 742-5898. Up next, I'm going to throw a set together right quick. This has been Windfall Radio. I have been Everest. Thank you for listening on 88.1. me a lot, but my heart shows the truth of what I've got, but that's right. When, when did you start playing guitar? 1996. When did, when did you play? What was your first guitar you played? What color was it? So yeah, we started playing together, and Paul was, you know, this was when he was really in his rocking out days. He's playing a lot of Jimi Hendrix and uh, a lot of Bush, a lot of silver chair. I'm a Bush, let's play. Good enough for me, good enough tonight, all I wanted was you. Hugboat was in the, uh, the, the Soul Kit, and they're world renowned. I mean, if you look them up on Wikipedia, you, you'll find Soul Kit. And I mean, they, they were really making a lot of waves back in the... Uh, in the 14-year-old circuit. In the 14-year-old Lubbock circuit. No, they were making waves with... <laughs> most make Lubbock at that time. I first heard about Thrift Store Cowboys probably just from seeing their name on every single lamppost and wall in Lubbock and just seeing the name over and over and then seeing them on internet sites that I would go to and I was like well Maybe they're a big, maybe they're a big thing, and so I finally took a chance and saw them live because I, 
be honest, I didn't really like their music just from hearing it on the on the internet or whatever, little samples. So I went and saw them live, and that pretty much changed everything right off the bat. And uh, and then I didn't meet them for a while. I would just see them. I've seen them at every crappy venue and every great venue. And I saw them open up for Lucero the first time Lucero came, and that was one of the greatest nights ever. And um, so yeah, I just kind of stalked them and until they finally became my friends and had no other no other way to ignore me. We started playing as Thrift Store Cowboys in, uh, on December 19th, 1999 was the exact day and it was a place called Ichabod's and now it's called Rocky LaRue's, if you, you know, that place, but uh, Ichabod's and it was called On Broadway. See. Tugboat, like I said, world renowned, soul kit. Check them out. And where are they now? It's called So Young. Most of the time, if you say you're from Texas, a lot of times, because a lot of you know, everything going on in the world, it's like, oh, Texas, or usually perceived as, I guess, a bit cocky or arrogant. Um, very prideful, I guess. And, uh, but if you say you're from Lubbock, Texas, they automatically associate it with Buddy Holly and they automatically kind of think of music. So it, it's actually pretty good to see. Most people always assume we're from Austin. But we set them straight. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> They respond pretty well, in all honesty, to what we're doing with this. It seems, it, it's, you can get like old people or somebody who's pretty much listening to nothing but Texas country or somebody like Sandy Rock, and they can all listen to music, so. I appreciate it on you know, many different levels. I think we, we kind of skirt a lot of genres and it makes for a really unique sound that uh, a lot of different people can identify with. just Buddy Holly, but it's gone into so many different types of music, um, but uh, I guess mainly in the country and folk genres, it, it, um, it, it thrives more just because of the area and the history and the talented songwriters who have grown up in this area and know the, um, the, true, the true meaning of West Texas and how to put that into music, pretty much. The Lubbock music scene is, uh, it's, uh... I think it's always taken its artists for granted. There and everybody, everybody, even back to Buddy Holly, has had to, uh, find success elsewhere before Lubbock really, um, steps in. But it's, it's good training, though, because, uh... Oh, if you can get to a gig in Lubbock, you can get to a gig anywhere. What do you think, Colt? What do you think about the Lubbock music scene? What do you think about it like nowadays? Do you think it do you think the bands can hold their own? Do you think they compete on a nationwide scale? Now and then there's a fool such as I am over you. You taught me how to love and now now you say I'm a fool, but I'll love you 
dear till the day I 